Surprise motherfuckers, good times. <laughs> this is my review of episode 6 of Dexter New Blood and the episode is called Too Many Tuna Sandwiches. So full spoilers as always and that reference at the beginning there of course is in reference to a character from the older show, Sergeant Dokes himself, one of my personal favourite supporting characters from the original run and so we get a cameo of sorts from him in this episode it, it's obviously not a proper one because the character was killed off in season 2 sadly and replaced with the awful Quinn who you know proceeded to stink the place up pretty much every time he was on screen so a really poor substitution but they bring up Dokes here in this episode and the reason is because all those years ago in Miami it was him who was framed and set up as the Bay Harbor Butcher which of course was really Dexter and set up in a way by Dexter's girlfriend at the time the crazy Lila more than Dexter I should say but Anyway, that's that's what people have believed from for many years, and it comes back up in this episode, and that's because Dexter suspects that Molly is the one who gave Angela the information about his real identity. So Angela, after last week's episode, has found out the truth about Dexter's identity, and she confronts him straight out about it, which. I like actually because I, I don't really want them to drag out this whole sort of storyline too much so I actually quite like that she found it out quite quickly and it sort of shows boy did Dexter make a mistake um, dating a cop because that's that's no way to keep your secret identity covered now obviously she doesn't know the full truth she doesn't know the truth about him killing people and his secret life but she does know and his real name's Dexter Morgan that he fakes his own death and I actually lo like the way they confront it in this episode it's it's a solid little scene with with him and Angela you know I think Angela's a very watchable likeable character and she confronts him and he sort of comes out with like he's been running from death that's why he covered up his own death or, or pretended to be deaf and, sorry deaf and uh, yeah p pretended to be dead and went on the run and he claims it's because of what happened to Rita, she was killed, it's because of what happened to Deb, she was obviously killed, um, various things. And it's it's a clever scene because what what's essentially happening in the scene is that Dexter is telling Angela half the truth, but obviously not all of it, he's not obviously filling in the blanks blanks about what he actually got up to and the whole thing about killing people and and that stuff but it's like half truths and it seems to be coming from a place to obviously obviously save his own skin because obviously she would arrest him if she knew the full truth but what I like also about the scene is that she doesn't let him off the hook just because of that. Like, she still gives him a hard time. And she still says, you know, you've been lying to me since day one. And and because they talk about therapy because he's now got Harrison in therapy. And, and she's like, well, you're the one that needs therapy. I mean, until you, until you, you know, like, go to therapy and open up and honest about yourself then then you're going to have no sort of relationship with Harrison so it's it's a really strong scene now it's definitely a bit of a leap him just assuming that it was Molly who told Angela and there's a scene because Molly's hanging around the police station and she sort of goes past Dexter and says hey big guy and it's just a little click of the light bulb that it could be Molly who who told 
Angela, oh, she's been digging around, and it's too much of a leap, and again, I guess it just goes to Dexter's character, but you you might say, well, why does he care, and is he really considering bumping off Molly, because that doesn't really go with his code, you know, I guess... I guess it's a character thing with him that he will do anything to protect his secret, but even so, it seems a bit extreme to want to bump off a, bump off a true kind podcaster just because she may or may not know his secret. Um, so Molly becomes his focus for the rest of the episode, and he listens to a podcast, and he listens to the episode about the Pay Harbour Butcher, which I have to say is is really really entertaining to live listen to, and that's when we get like the James Stokes sort of cameo, and there's a clever little nod to it because of course like one of his like catchphrases was surprise motherfucker, and sh- and she sort of works that into like the podcast and the voiceover from Dexter and his reaction is is pretty good as well because he's like ah oh, good, good time sort of thing. Um, so that's a good example of how you because you also see like footage of Dokes like that sort of famous scene where he like does the eye sort of thing you know signals to Dexter I'm watching you son and you, they sort of show like that clip so unlike last week where the Angel Batista cameo was just so heavy handed and so clunky this was a perfect example of how you do a cameo like this how you work it like an old sort of reference into like the new sort of show that it it, it it was nicely done so he starts tracking molly and molly has this idea to like set up a meeting with kurt and that's to try and dig deeper and find out why he um why he lied about Matt basically now Angela tells her not to but of course Molly's not going to listen to that so she sets up a meeting and she supposedly has a wire because that's her idea before but we we never actually see the wire and Dexter like obviously must have been tracking her because he shows up at the bar and he leaves a recorder when they're talking at the bar now that's a bit risky considering the fact that the barman could have come across it and just you know say hey someone's phone's here but anyway it obviously it, 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 that doesn't happen but he leaves a recorder and he he listens to it back and, and he finds out that molly obviously questions kurt about about what's going on with Matt and, and why did he lie and Kurt says well it's just because I was protecting my son I didn't want him to take the fall about the whole killing the deer and he then claims well he's actually staying at my cabin do you want to you know if you keep it a secret you can come and meet him like and and she's like yes sure so she goes along and obviously Dexter listens back to the recording and he goes after them and there's like an interesting moment where he sort of figures out that Matt, well not Matt sorry, that Kurt is going to do something to her because he, he looks at the setup of the cabin and how isolated it is, and he figures out, well, this is sort of a serial killer's cabin, and, and obviously Dexter would know. So he he actually half considers, like, just leaving Molly as, as Kurt's prey, because it's like, well, I had nothing to do with this, and this benefits me, because obviously she's digging into the Matt stuff, but obviously he sort of does the right thing and he comes up with an excuse and like bursts into the cabin and I think Molly is starting to get creeped out anyway like she's starting to suspect something's going on because Matt, you know, Kurt's keeping up the charade about Matt and like starts shouting him 
and he's obviously not responding and you know Dexter as I said has a cover story comes in and he actually again makes up an excuse looks in the room obviously Kirk comes up with a cover says well he must have left he must have went into town or something <clears throat> but anyway yeah Dexter looks around the room he gets a look at the camera and he he just starts putting things together he starts suspecting that Kurt is is the kidnapper he's been kidnapping the young girls um, and obviously Dexter then gets Molly out there says would you like a lift she says yeah and you know again it's decent stuff it's, it's quite well done once again and obviously Kurt you know go, goes nuts because again things are starting to slip um, now obviously it sort of continues this feud with him and Dexter because of course Kurt has given Harrison a job and he sort of wants Dexter's signature to say my son can work for you but Harrison's like Dexter doesn't want him to for obvious reasons and then Harrison's like well you know screw you I'm going to take the job anyway um, and so the rivalry sort of continues like because um, Kurt shows up at Harrison's game well not game sorry his wrestling match at the end and again you know it it goes the predictable way which I predicted and, and you know he basically snaps on this other wrestler and like breaks his arm and, and Kurt seems really happy because it's like he's they play up this whole thing of him like giving Harrison advice and, and you know because there's a scene earlier where he's actually helping out around the house and he says well it was actually Kurt who told me to do this so the scene at the end plays like it's Kurt's advice and, and that motivates him to really go go aggressive and Dexter's like you know stay away from my son sort of thing um so there's more like Kurt Dexter rivalry stuff there's again the stuff with Harrison is 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 pretty lame it's not very interesting in in this episode they have like the therapy scenes with with them which doesn't really amount to much we find out that Harrison found the letter which Dexter sent to Hannah um and that and that's sort of how he found out that his dad was still alive and you know when he became the right age he decided to to track him down um, but there's not a lot of stuff that comes out of the therapy scenes uh, like Harrison picks up Dexter in a lie at one point because Dexter's like claims that the marriage with Rita just went sour and then Harrison corrects him and says well no what happened is she was killed by a serial killer um so I mean that's mostly it the the only other thing is is at the very end of the episode as we cut in between the wrestling match we we also see um Harrison sorry not Harrison we see Angela and this other cop digging around the caves thinking they might find Matt's body but they actually find Irish's body and that was the girl Angela was helping out um, I think in the first episode and so she discovers her so you know obviously that's a bit of a shock she's going to start you know digging into that more and well the only other thing is there's a moment between Harrison and Audrey and they actually sleep together because of course this show rushes things and Angela actually walks in on them so so that's that and that's going to cause more tension I sort of suspected there might be a relationship but that's Dexter New Blood for the week not too bad a, a more solid episode this week so let me know your thoughts in the comments below like and subscribe and share me out on social media and I'll be back with more next week thanks for listening goodbye